a squirrel just ran by my window and somebody once told me a medium that my dad sometimes comes in form of a squirrel to say that he's around and thinking about me so I'd like to look out the window and take a moment to say hi dad glad you could join my thing today hi I'm Lee Keckner welcome to day number four of 33 days of owner Beep. owner shit own your shit to a happy life um, we're gonna start with three breaths just to get grounded and all of us get kind of on the same in the same space and then we'll get going so if you join me with your feet on the ground with your legs uncrossed and put your palms down or facing up on your legs we're gonna breathe in three breaths through our nose out through our mouth with your eyes closed if you feel comfortable okay and through your nose and out through your mouth in through your nose and out through your mouth in through your nose and out through your mouth it's good too if you're taking breaths like that that maybe you use that time to remember your intention remember why you're doing this so you can really get what you're supposed to out of it instead of listening mindlessly but guess what I'll welcome both of those people mindlessly people what, however the hell you're here I'm happy you're here um, today I want to talk about use your quiet voice now I say that to my kids all the time and that's not the context I'm meaning it with you guys um, use your quiet voice we have a voice that lives inside of us it resides inside of us you could call it your soul you could call it your true self it's separate than your brain so you've got your brain with its spinning thoughts and then you have a really wise voice that resides in your body and that's what I call the quiet voice the whispering voice and the whispering voice is there to guide us and to gently give us little teeny tings like maybe you don't want to do that maybe you should head that way just these little quiet voices now if it said hey Lee you're off base again take a ride then that wouldn't really be helpful because it wouldn't let me be fully human it wouldn't let me make mistakes and fall down and scrape my knees and stand up stronger with scraped knees but stronger than when I fell so it's important that we are not always doing everything right and perfect but we've been given a real blessing to have this inner guide and so today I just want us to bring awareness to the quiet voice that resides in all of us now it can be something something as simple as this um, I have a very wild ass side to me a really wild spirit a really wild side everything outrageous seems normal and right on to me and then I have a really grounded spiritual side and I'm I'm living with both of those things inside of me it's it's interesting it's hilarious and it's it's cool I like it but my wild side likes to take over from time again time and time when I'm not grounded and if I have a cocktail or two forget it it's doing high kicks in the splits so my wild side I'll send a text or I'll write a text and I'll think oh this is hilarious it's got a little bite to it but overall I think it's funny and then I'll hear a really subtle quiet voice say probably shouldn't send that text and then I send it and then two days later that person's mad at me and I was like dang it I shouldn't have sent that not even realizing that myself told me not to send that um, so it can be something that little or it can be something like divorce so I have a friend recently who got divorced who had her husband left her after many years for another woman and after he left her she was on the floor devastated and she just kept saying I can't believe this happened I can't believe this happened I had no idea I had no idea and then kind of after the shock and the grieving started to subside she started going wait a second I remember right after we got married blah 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 I remember finding that note that one time and blah 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 and then she started realizing all of these little breadcrumbs or little whispers from life saying probably shouldn't stay with that guy we well, probably this was a learning lesson you don't need to stay in it for life you don't need to settle for something that doesn't thrill your heart and she didn't listen to those bread pick up the breadcrumbs she didn't listen to the whispers and the clues that the guy was giving her um, so much so that she settled into kind of a detached marriage and at the end the guy had to do something so huge that she finally like fell to the ground and her foundation shattered but I think that that foundation of her life was chipping all along but she wasn't seeing the chips and then 
when it shattered, she fell. And I think I, I have another friend whose sister committed suicide and I was listening to her talk about she couldn't believe it happened and all this. And then she said later, as time went by, that there were these little warning signs or that seemed a little off base or that was a little more or she was so depressed. I've never seen her that way, that there are these signs that are happening in life around us. But when we are so focused on our to do lists and, and going and going, I did this a lot yesterday. I want to bring it back. Um, when we're so focused on our to do lists, we're missing the quiet whispers. And here's what I think that those quiet whispers will say, hey, let's pretend it's this. Hey, you need to slow down like you're tired. You need to take care of yourself. And then you keep plowing through and stay extra hours and go out late or whatever you're doing. And then the next day or a couple days later, um, you're like, oh, I don't feel that good. I feel a little achy and I'm kind of worn out. And then you keep going and you keep going and you're not listening to that. And then boom, you got a crick in your neck and you can't move your neck. And then you didn't, you know what I mean? So it's just like these things add up until bam. So I'm encouraging you today to, and it's really amazing when you start to wake up and you're not sleepwalking anymore, you start to see really neat synchronicities. You start to hear yourself, guide yourself in a beautiful way. A stranger will walk up and go, hey, I just wanted to tell you, I found out about this new thing. You should try it. You should try it because maybe that's something that's planned for you if you're hearing it. You can't hear the quiet voice if this is in control, right? So we wanna shift more from here to here. So start to listen to your body so it doesn't have to go from a whisper to a problem. So it doesn't have to get so big that soon you're knocked on your ass and your foundation is shattered and you don't know how the heck you got there. But all these little whispers are like, are you kidding? We've been telling you for years. We're always receiving signs from people, from partners, from children. Even with children, when they're fighting with you or they're mad at you, there's some tension there. There's something to look at because one of you guys are off base or you're both just missing a little bit and it's not gelling. So it's kind of like when you're fighting as opposed to going, you respect me and cut it out, do what I say, which is how I was raised to say, huh? I don't feel good, you don't feel good. Can you help me come up with the solution where I get what you want, but in a way that's okay with you? I think everything's just a gift when we're awake to see it. And then really, life becomes kind of magical. I like it a lot. Life happens for us, not to us. Let that sink in. Life is happening for us. It is our ally, it is our friend, it is our guide. It's not happening to us. It only happens to us when we're sleepwalking, we're not in line with why we're here, and um, we're kind of in the victim mode. So I think it's, this is awesome owner, ownership because it's letting us really step into our lives and own it, which is glorious. Um, my quote today is, May I quiet my wild spirit so that I may hear the whispers of my soul. And I wrote that really for myself. <laughs> May I quiet my wild spirit so I may hear the whispers of my soul. Because although I enjoy my spirit and I wouldn't change it for the world and it is a lot of fun to live with, the real meat of who I am and the real wisdom and the really why I'm on the planet is coming from my soul. So let me hear that. Let me slow this stuff down and hear that a little bit more. God, I'm grateful that we are connected to you whether we like it or not, whether we believe in you or not, that we are made in the likeness of you. We are a chip, a chip off the old God block. And thank you for giving us hundreds of whispers from people to feelings to our body, guiding us and helping us move forward in such a lovely way. And, and thank you for honoring us when we listen. And thank you for teaching us such a valuable lesson when we don't. Um, legions of angels all around people watching and myself, love and light. And be with us for the rest of the day. Amen. Amen. Um, thank you so much for, for coming today on day four. I can't wait to see you tomorrow on day five. Okay, you guys, I love you. Have a beautiful day. My kid's first day at school, and I did not pick them up today so I could have my noon thing. I'm not going to beat myself up over that, right? I can take them for ice cream later, right? Okay, bye, guys. Mm -hmm.